Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be all about my new prayer journal and how I set that up. Um, I am a fan of prayer journaling. I think that prayer journaling is one of those things that um, a lot of people don't know about. And the few who do know about it have found out about it from the movie War Room. And um, I think it's like the best thing in the world, specifically for me, because I am not a very talkative person. I'm the kind of person that likes to write out my feelings. I'm, I'm a lover of writer and I'm a lover of reading books. So writing is something that I'm very fond of. So I found that writing my prayers out was, one, easier for me to make sure that I'm praying. Um, two, it helped me keep track of the prayers and things that I was praying about. Um, it helped me to understand the different types of prayers that I needed to start learning to do. Um, I was able to track the answered prayers, the things that God answered for me. I was able to see whether I was praying things that were in alignment with his will. Um, and it just helped me to pray better, if that makes sense. Um, there is nothing wrong with having a prayer journal. I know some, like, you know, some mature believers will say, oh, you need to speak your prayers out. You need to pray out loud. But, um, it's really not about how you pray the scripture says and i probably should have had this prepared already but if i'm not mistaken it's matthew 6 and 6 i'm actually going to go to that on my phone i was going to do it on my um nook but i'm going to actually go to that scripture on my phone my phone is going to die soon but that's all right my phone is on 10 percent. but we're going to get this scripture if i'm not mistaken it is matthew 6 and 6 um but i'm just gonna pop that open i'm going to be using the uversion holy bible app um, and I'll be reading from the New King James Translation, the NKJV. Matthew 6 and 6 says, But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut the door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So, don't let anyone discourage you from having a prayer journal. It's not about you praying out loud for the whole world to hear. The Bible specifically tells you to pray in your secret place. Your secret place is wherever you have um, your heart laid out to pray. So it can be your bedroom. It can be your mind. It can be an actual closet. Some people have prayer closets. It can be your prayer journal. It can be your bathroom, your car, um, your, door room, your, ki your dorm room, your kitchen, your living room. Wherever you find the place where you can really get into prayer mode and really dive into the presence of God, that is your secret place. So, if that's a prayer journal, so be it. This is my old prayer journal. I got it from Our Daily Bread. Um, they do have another prayer journal like this available. They have it um, up for... I think the donation fee is a minimum of $9.99. They also have a study journal, which is kind of like this. It just says study journal instead of prayer journal. That is up for $6.99, I think, on, on donation fee. Um, I'll find a link to both, the, both of those and post them down below. Sorry, you guys. But um, there's nothing wrong with journaling your prayers. I find that journaling my prayers, one, helps me to pray more often because I'm more of a writer rather than a talker. That's just how I've been for years. Um, two, it helps me to keep track of the different types of things that I'm praying for and the forms of prayer that I'm doing. Because a lot of us are only used to doing like um, prayers of supplication. Or some of us are only saying our prayers during grace, truth be told. But um, there are different forms of prayer. There's pr um prayers of worship and praise to God, there are prayers of thanksgiving, there are supplications, there are faith prayers, there are consecration prayers, imprecation prayers, um, there's like so many different type of prayers, but we really only stick to one type of prayer, which is supplication. Not many of us will confess our sins to God or ask for forgiveness. Not many of us will thank him for what he's did, has done or is doing in our lives. Not many of us will just write a prayer, just praising him for who he is and what he's created in the world not many of us do that and i'm not going to say that i do it because i don't always do it but i try to make sure that i put in an effort to um utilize each form of prayer as much as possible i just recently started learning about intercessory prayer and corporate prayer because um corporate prayer to me is praying in church that's how i thought about it um but corporate prayer is um the prayer of agreement and um i've learned so much about that in intercessory prayer so I'm learning different types of prayers, and journaling your prayers helps. I don't care what anybody says. It helps. It works wonders. And um, I think that everyone should have one. If you guys have seen the movie War Room, read the book Fervent, heard of the movie War Room, you guys all know people are making war rooms and war binders and where you're putting in your prayers because you can now see um, 
the prayers that are being answered versus the prayers that are not being answered and then seeing what prayers you requested that are still being you know that you can see are being worked on but not fully answered you can see how God is moving in your life you can see if you're praying according to his will or if you're asking things according to his will so um I think prayer journaling is like the best thing ever I highly suggest it um I will have a bunch of other videos all about prayer journaling uh because I think it's something that a lot of people should really get into um and I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, I think it's something a lot of people should get into. Um, this video, though, is going to be showing you guys my new prayer journal. She is gorgeous. She is pretty. I'm actually going to show you guys her because I was going to wait till the camera flipped around. But this is my new beauty. Isn't she stunning? This is a Ecolo World Traveler's Journal. I got it from Staples last year when it was on sale during the uh, back to school kind of season. They had this size and then a larger size with a different font. Um, not font, but a different um, quote on it. This says, make this moment count. And I have so many blank journals you guys so many blank journals so it took me a minute but um i landed on this one one because it's a nice um soft kind of leatherette cover and i love the colors and it's just very fun in spring like i really wanted to start my new journal for the spring so that's why i really picked this one and it's so pretty so stinking cute so i am going to flip the camera around and show you guys how i have it set up before i use it because I'm ready to just get into this beauty, really get into it. So, um, that is it. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see how I set up my prayer journal. Hey guys, so like I said, this is just going to be me showing you guys the inside of my new prayer journal because I set it up for the spring and I am so, so excited about it. So, this is the old one that I had and I've been using this one, you guys, since April 7th, 2016 until March 14th. 2018 and you guys it has taken me two years to fill this journal up but um i am so excited to be done with it this is my first actual prayer journal i've had other journals but never really filled them up i have one completed journal um my other ones were in storage and they were thrown out but um yeah this one i got from our daily bread and um i love this one because it really was symbolic to me no longer journaling negativity um granted a prayer journal will still include negative things here and there but this one was more so um about me rebuilding my relationship with god and i filled it all the way up um there are like six pages empty in the back you know but i'm not going to stress these last few pages and in between um the the pages there are like pictures like this with scriptures but um this last page has a sticker on it I'm not gonna show you guys because I wrote on it but it has a sticker on it and I just have to write a note but, um I am finally done with this you guys this is finally done so I'm gonna show you guys my new beauty so out with the old and in with the new oh my god you guys this is my new prayer journal I, like I said, I wanted to start a new one in spring. I forgot that spring wasn't on the 21st. It was the 20th, so today is the 20th as I'm recording this for you guys. And I'm sharing with you guys how I have it set up. Now, I was going to do a whole full-blown setup video with um with you guys, showing you guys step by step, but that wasn't working out. So, I am basically just sharing you guys the finished product. So, this journal is from Staples. It's an Ecolo World Traveler Journal. And um, I got this one as well as a larger size one with a different quote on it um, at a really discounted price last year when I was at Staples. Um, I walked past and I guess it was like before the school year or during the school, before it was like right before school year season. Um, they had some of their stuff on sale from Ecolo, so I snagged this one up in another journal. But um, it just says make this moment count in gold for you and that's something I definitely wanted to keep in mind. And to pay the little uh, glossy spots, no mind like that, I just put um, my moisturizer and oil on my face, so it's all over my hands, so yeah. But um, yeah, make this moment count gold for you. I love the ombre watercolor style with the blue, purple, and pink with the white. It is really pretty. And um, the back of it looks like this. Like I said, it's Ecolo. And see if we can get closer. World Traveler, that's the ISBN if you're interested. 
a 2016 edition, so that's probably why it was on sale when I picked it up last year because it was 2016 edition. But I'm um, off oh, my robes all in a way. <laughs> so opening this up, I'm gonna share with you guys what I put in it. So this sticker here says "Gather Here with Grateful Hearts." It's the same sticker that I said I stuck on the um last page of this prayer journal. I got these from a girl that was selling stickers for planners on Facebook and Etsy. I can't even remember her shop name because she changed it so much. But um, this was like a Thanksgiving type of sticker and I just stuck it here. It's not exactly centered um, as I wanted it to be, but I'm probably going to add more stickers around. This Pray Without Ceasing with the Gold Foil comes from the Happy Planner Faith Pack. And then this gorgeous sticker here comes from Dollar Tree. And I always pick up these um, stickers from Dollar Tree. Pay that no mind. Um, this sticker here was put there and it just can't come off. But I always pick up these packs from Dollar Tree just to use because they're really pretty and they're really um, awesome. Especially if you're like into a project, doing project life cards and stuff like that. But I finally opened this one up. And I used this one, the banner, and that sticker. So this sticker was actually here. And I took this portion of a prayer out of the book that I'm reading called Anywhere Faith by Heather C. King. She actually got that from David Livingstone. It was a um, sort of poetic prayer that she found. And I have actually spoken to the author I'm in a, a book club with Our Daily Bread with the author. And um, that script not the scripture you guys sorry that prayer really stuck out to me so what i wrote was heavenly father send me anywhere only go with me lay any burden on me only sustain me sever any tie but the tie that binds me to thyself i want to have anywhere faith and um it just stuck out to me the book title stuck out to me so i stuck it in here and i told myself i would stick it into all of my prayer journals and they're actually going to go into all of my bibles as well so yeah that's that and then we have this sticker here which says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. That came from the Happy Planner stickers that came like this before. You know, the ones that came in like the six packs before they came out with the value packs. So it came from that. Another one of those stickers like I said from Dollar Tree. It says Joy and I put it on top of like this lavender banner and it just says Nay's Prayer Journal number two. I have these two gold foil stickers that also came from the Happy Planner, but they came from this set. You guys remember, it came with five sheets. That's like the old school Happy Planner stickers. But um, I just put the date on it, so March 20th, 2018 to whenever I finish it. Um, this Amen sticker, again, from the Happy Planner Faith Pack. Um, this washi tape here, I got in a pack from I think it was Hobby Lobby or Michaels I don't remember but it looks like this let me take the autofocus off for a few but it looks like that and I'm obsessed with it obsessed 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 you guys when I say obsessed um I think this is the wrong sticker I think it was another one that had hearts on it but um yeah I got it in a pack and um I used it for this so Just like the cover page. Um, the next page here, trying to get this to focus, I have the different types of prayers. There are nine types of prayers. You have your prayer of thanksgiving, your supplication prayers, your faith prayer, your confession prayers, your praise and worship prayers, your intercession prayers, your agreement or corporate prayers. Um, then you have your consecration prayers, which are kind of like thy will be done prayers. Um, and then the imprecation prayers, which are kind of like the things that King David prayed over his enemies, um, asking God to just avenge him. So I just wrote those type of prayers down and then the scriptures correlating to them so that I know. Then I have these different type of prayer methods. They're not really methods. Um, they're more so acronyms to help you formulate your prayers. Um, but I have pray, which is praise God and pour out your heart, repent and realize God will hear you. Ask and always believe he will answer you and yield to what God tells you with corresponding scriptures. And this is kind of like the same thing that Priscilla Shire wrote in her um, fervent book. But hers actually spells out prayer. So I'm actually going to insert that one in here on another piece of paper. 
But um, then I have Acts, which is adoration, praise God for who he is, confession, confess your sins, and ask for forgiveness, thanksgiving, thank God for um, all that he's done, and supplication, present your requests with, again, corresponding scriptures. And I tried to keep the scriptures as different as possible so that I would have different scriptures to go to on prayer. The next one is chat. So it's cheer God on for who he is, humble yourself before him, appreciate what he has done, and tell him your needs with the corresponding scriptures, and then the facts of prayer, which are faith, adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. So it's having faith that is biblically founded, because you need faith when you're praying. Your, your prayer should consist of adoration, which is you expressing your love and longing for God. Confession is where you confess your sins, acknowledge your guilt, and just ask for forgiveness. Thanksgiving is when you give thanks to God for who he is, for what he's done for you, and all that great stuff. And then supplication is when you make your request according to God's will with the scriptures. Um, this washi tape here that you see is actually a hem of washi tape that I got from the UK. I ordered it off of Etsy with a bunch of other like Hema products, but um, yeah, that's Hema. This feather washi tape with the little foil, like I said, came in this pack here. So, I have that. And this is just prayer requests. So, I have a section for me to write the request down, the date, and then when it was answered, I can check it off. Um, I'm going to put all the requests in here, but I'm going to write out actual prayers in my faith journal. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll post um, a link or you can click the eye on the screen to see one of my faith journals. In that journal, I will go in from this request and write out detailed um prayers for those requests or even on an index card to put on my prayer wall so that's that and i just have a few pages of that five pages if i'm not mistaken or four one two three yeah four pages because i have the back here then i have prayer scriptures so these large red and blue prayer stickers come from dollar tree um these scriptures this these letters sorry come from walmart this sticker comes from the faith sticker pack um the star stickers come from Blue Blue Sky Planners. Yeah, Blue Sky Planners. Um, it was one of the planners that I had got from my mom, from Nicole Miller. And um, I like the stickers, so I took them from her, and I've been using them. And this washi tape was also another kind of European, UK, Hema style washi tape. I actually used it up <laughs> to make this, so yeah. But um, I don't have any more. Like, I use it here, and then when I got here, that was all that was left on a roll, so I just made a banner. But just scriptures that are on prayer, James 5, 13 to 18, Matthew 7, 7 through 11, James 4 and 3, 1 John 5, 14 to 15, Philippians 4 and 6, Matthew 6 and 6, um, 1 Timothy 2 and 1, 1 Peter 4 and 7. And I'm going to put more scriptures that I find that are really detailed about prayers. Um, and then these heart stickers are where at the same place I got these star stickers from. And then um, it comes with a ribbon, obviously. But I did include my own bookmark that I made. It's just a white paper clip from Dollar Tree with this um, pineapple sticker that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, and on the back, I just made a circle out of construction paper and hot glued it together to make the paper clip. And um, just because, like I said, today is the 20th, I just have an st orange sticker with the date on it. I didn't put my prayer in it because I wanted you guys to see what it looked like first. But, um, yeah. This is my new prayer journal. I am obsessed with how I set it up. I love it. Um, and I'm ready to fill this one up because I'm ready for some answered prayers. And I've been going to prayer school, which sounds crazy. Um, it's called the School of Prayer. I've been going there um, these past few Saturdays. And it's really been a blessing to me. I've been learning so much about prayer. I'm going through Fervent with the Daughter of Increase group. We'll be doing um, another book on prayer next month. And I've been, I love watching War Room consistently, and I have a lot of little booklets about prayer. So I've really been focusing on building my prayer life and um, making it stronger because I feel a, a strong pull into being more serious. Not more serious because I'm serious with my prayers, but um, taking my prayer to the next level. I'm really feeling that pull from God to do so. And um, I mean, he wakes me up two, three o'clock in the morning to pray. And though most of the time I go right back to sleep, which is bad, um, but I know that he's calling me to prayer. And um, I mean, everybody's called to prayer, but there are different forms and levels of prayer. And I feel like at this point in time in my life, he's calling me to a deeper uh, 
deeper pull into my prayer life but um yeah that's my prayer journal i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys in the next video bye